Well, I was going to start with that. You were hyped about the, the Eagles winning. How are you feeling about them going to the Super Bowl? I feel great. I, I feel great. They're, I mean, it's the best team we've ever had in my lifetime as a fan. And uh, my son's excited. My father's excited. Um, I should have been there yesterday, but partially because of this and other things, I couldn't fly back and forth. But Are you going to the Super Bowl? Are you going to be there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's Arizona. It's close by. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some things for some Philly sport groups out there and stuff. So. Do you think they're going to take it? Do you think they have a good chance this year? Yeah, the, the Super Bowl is always kind of a toss-up because of how the game unfolds, but I think that um, I think we can win. I think we have a better I think we have a better roster. So I saw some clips from this. You kick ass in this. How is it to play this kind of like badass character? You come out of jail. Like, how does that feel, that role for you? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's not a He's an anti-hero, if anything, but he's not like, uh, he's a regular guy, you know, just out of prison and, you know, he's kind of had a hard uh, upbringing or whatever, but, um, you know, he's just a very authentic guy trying to get back on the right path and kind of make some bad decisions again, you know, which is what put him in prison in the first place and what he's trying to avoid, but, you know. You had great chemistry with Gabrielle, you had great chemistry with Kate. How did you guys build that before getting on camera? Or was it like you just threw on camera and it's good acting? Well, we kind of thought it was fun for me to see Kate for the first time on camera. And so, you know, our characters hadn't seen each other in a decade or so. And um, Nick, uh, our director, uh, liked the idea and so did I of, of ac us actually not interacting. We had met once or twice before and I know Justin, her boyfriend, very well. But, but we never um, we never met until you see us on camera together, really, for the film. And, and for this film, why do people got to see it? It comes out the third. Why does everybody have to stream it, watch it in theaters? Because it's about someone looking for redemption, and it's about second chances, and uh, the cast is great. Ving Rhames is so, his presence and his, the way he grounds the film, and, you know, he's sort of my surrogate father in this, in this, in this movie, and... Um, you know, and then seeing me, my character, try to become a father without ever having had that opportunity, really, with this little girl. So you're seeing him, like, try to understand what it's like to help raise a person. Final question. When we said we were coming here, all I got on my timeline was women saying he still looks just as good as when he came out. That, look, that's what every woman said. So how does it feel to still got it all these years later, being able to play a leading man? Um, I got to take a little better care of myself than I have been lately. I got to get back to that. I got to get back in the gym. Uh, last job I did, I kind of had to lose weight and the guy had to look a particular way. And so I'm kind of, you know, you go through these things as an actor for parts and you change and sometimes you got to rebound or whatever. But um, no, it's flattering. It's nice. You know, I don't have to agree with it. <laughs> well, you're a kick-ass man. Good luck on your team. Thank you.